thousand percent freaked out. This looks like we're in an actual home. It's so dark in here, but also beautiful. These statues are amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay, we are getting started. This is our introduction to the initiation. Who am I? Oh. <laughs> And welcome to Isaac's house. Joshua, is this your baby? Yes, I feel like I'm about to give birth. Yeah, literally. <laughs> we are deep inside the old San Francisco Mint building, one of the few buildings that didn't collapse during the 1906 earthquake. And uh, at one time, this building held a third of the country's gold. It also now happens to be home to Terror Vault. Wait! Oh. Oh <laughs> did I scare you? You did. It's our fifth show and we're in our sixth year because we took 2020 off. Right, just like the rest of us. Yes. The real terror. Yeah, exactly. It's immersive theater. Yes, mashed up with a haunted house experience. Yeah, theater but make it spooky. You start when? November. <laughs> Last year in November, we started coming up with the concept of this show, yeah. So this is a year-round thing for you. Yeah, it really is. It's insane. Father Isaac is waiting. <laughs> but only a select few are welcomed in. Can I come in? You shall come. Okay. Good luck. Thank you, I think. I think San Francisco leaning into its magic and uniqueness is exactly what it should be doing right now. The fact that you can come here and see a kind of drag that you don't get to see anywhere else. We're selling tickets to people from all over the state. We have people flying in from other countries. We had to do a hotel discount this year, you know, to take care of our guests. And we can sort of map the data. So, you know, this works, you know, creating experiences, art, celebrating and nurturing these only in San Francisco experiences. They're what is going to turn the city around, I think, and keep it, you know, unique, but also vital. Hi. Hi, hi, sorry to interrupt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh! oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Oh jeez. Tell me about the initiation. What's the story? So we made up a cult. You as the guest come and you attend a seminar and you're invited to join the Insight Institute to experience your true inner vision and open your third eye. And so you're pretending to be part of the cult as you make your way through. So I also happen to be Peaches Christ, uh, which is probably why uh, people are familiar with even, you know, Terror Vault. It's, it's, it's nice that I got to be a horror queen who ended up making a horror movie and now has a horror haunted attraction. But as Joshua, I really get to take off the makeup and run around backstage and help the actors and really experience it. So Danny, what's going on right now? So right now I'm getting uh, Natasha ready for tonight. Her character is the final mutant. And she, she looks too lovely right yeah. now, obviously. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're gonna uglify her? I'm gonna uglify her, yeah. yeah. I play a rebel and I am doing our rebel makeup, so we're supposed to look a little gaunt, a little like we've been hiding in the dark. We do this story roughly 30 to 40 times a night. I love it. I love the reaction that people get when you just scare them or they get scared. It gives me goosebumps because it's so much fun. You best be going now. Come on. This way. Okay. Go on. Eve's awaiting. <laughs> Boy. Try the wafers. They're to die for. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, the wafers. Okay. Americans love Halloween. We, as a culture, are really who created what people understand to be the modern Halloween season with the haunted houses and the trick-or-treating and the jack-o'-lanterns, and I could not be prouder of that. Oh my gosh. Ah! What? Who's that? 